Hi! In this video, I will guide you through the example 6 that comes inside the Dozui package, Progressors. Let's get started. So, I've just uh, opened the uh, example 6 and you can do that if you go to Doozy, Examples, Scenes and double click E6 Progressors. This example is recommended to be used in landscape mode and in 2D. So your scene should be 2D and your game should be, let's put it in landscape. It's not mandatory, but that's the way you should experience it if you want to see how it was created. Let's press play. And right away you can see that we had some progress bars, so actually some progress indicators. And here we have a slider and check it out. It animates all of them at once because it's a simple progressor. And uh, yeah, look at this, how it works. It's very easy to create with the UI. And uh, let me show you exactly what we have here. So uh, let's come here, circles orange, which one is this? So we have some circles and all we do, let's say, which one is this in mode? So what we have here is actually, let me set them. Is this the main progressor? No. Where is the main progressor? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. All right. So here we have some simple images and we just mess with the fill amount. Check it out. Let me zoom out a bit. And we do that with progress target image. If you didn't watch this video about the progress target image, you should do it because it's really very easy. Then we have some yellow circles. They're all one over the other. And these animate like this. And then we have, where is it? Circles green. Again, I'm going to show you this animation. Yeah. And so on. Let me open again this scene. This was scene number six. Don't save. All right. So we do that by controlling the progressor. And you will see that we have some simple bars. Yeah. Again, here we have this bar. It comes from uh, horizontal fill from, uh, from the right. This is filled from the left, from the top, or actually this one is from the bottom and from the top. And these are just some images. There is nothing, no, no black magic, nothing. Just this uh, progress tar target image that changes this fill amount. And that's it. And we have a progressor that controls this. You can even simulate it. And let's also simulate it with uh, let's say out back in two seconds so you can see how it will uh, look yeah it's really really easy there you go and what else we have here this uh, uses an animator so we need an animation window animation come on and let's see what animation are we animating here with this progress target animator check it out this is the animation yeah. So we change the color and yeah, we just animate this from zero to one. And we also have bar number two again. And here we change the, the text position and also the side, the, the, the color of the bar. Get out and then it moves out. This is just the animation. And then we have another animation. Let's preview it. So this is how it looks. One, two, yeah. So you can create any type of progress bar or indicator you can imagine and use any type of animation. And with the help of a progress target animator and a properly set setup animator. Let's see the animator. Come on. So the controller and here we use normalize time progress. You can see this in their particular videos. In this case, the progress target animator. You should watch this video if you want to learn how you can animate any type of animations with or any type of animation with this progress target animator and a progress bar. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is how it works. It's very easy. We also have this here. 
And also the text is updated with progress target text. And you can see you can have different, uh, yeah. Actually, I had this, I hate the sound on this uh, UI button. So uh, this is a slider that has probably a, where is it? UI button. Yeah, there is the UI button. Let's disable this uh, sound. Yeah. All right. So this was the example six that uses a lot of progressors. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Thank you.